carnage in the Carpathians. The day one off-road didn't disappoint. After five plus hours of furious riding, G-Force Graham Jarvis came out on top. Manny Lettenbigler rode with Jarvis for most of the day, but lost out in the final stages, 36 seconds behind the leader. In the overall combined time trial and day one off-road standings, Graham Jarvis holds a 41 second lead over Manny Lettenbigler, with Wade Young sitting over four minutes back in third. Riders ready in the early morning at day two of Vertical Madness. Good morning everybody, we're here at the off-road start of day two. We're just waiting for them to arrive. But it's going to be Graham Jarvis going first today after his amazing ride. We'll see what happens today. Hopefully I can capture some of the best moments of the day um, where nobody else can get to. See what we can do. First on the track, so you know I'm going to have to obviously navigate, do my own navigation, do my own thing and uh, you know just try and stay motivated to keep pushing. Pretty excited, you know, like I had a really good day yesterday, so I'm starting out second um, behind Graham, so I'm gonna try to catch him and it'll be another good day again. Today's shorter 100 kilometer course will take riders over new terrain, including a section with the menacing name, Brother of K2, True Vertical Madness. Jarvis launches in, followed by Lettenbickler. Young and Alfredo Gomez. Leading the pack on a new course puts the race front runner at a disadvantage. He has to navigate alone and find the lines. Behind him, Len Bickler is making smart decisions. He's riding with control and speed. He climbs through checkpoint one and takes an early lead in the race. Wade Young started fourth. At checkpoint two, he makes his bid to move up the ranks with the fastest time. Alfredo Gomez is mere seconds behind him. He's been riding well all morning. Jarvis, on the other hand, is beginning to slip in the ranks. Over two hours into the race, it's Alfredo Gomez leading the day coming into the service area. Feel good. I was riding all the time with weight till the last uh, uphill, and we rode uh, fast, I think, and, and confident, no mistakes uh, in the navigation, and we made a good morning. Let's see if uh, we can catch the guys in front. Teddy Blazuziak had a rough day one off road. His bad luck continues. Here's where the race ends for the Polish rider, who appears to have injured his shoulder in an earlier crash. Back to the action where some riders may begin to feel exhaustion setting in. Lettenbickler is hitting his stride. At checkpoint six, he has the best time. But Wade Young and Graham Jarvis are closing in. Early leader Alfredo Gomez is losing steam and can't keep the same pace he had earlier in the morning. Riders hit the most brutal section of the course, brother of K2. It's punishing, especially for Billy Bolt. Even with this brutal crash, he's still able to hold on to his fifth place position. Front, Lettenbickler and Young are now fighting for the lead. Yeah, but Jarvis is making a late race push. And he takes the fastest time at checkpoint eight. Is it enough to keep the overall lead? Jarvis and Lettenbickler are now side by side. Brothers in arms, pushing each other to the finish. Even though they cross the finish line together, it's Lettenbickler who will take the best time of the day. Like it's pretty good to ride together, you know, like you push each other like a little bit and 
I think we pushed it quite hard. It was proper motocross style, so it was a really good day, yeah. Yeah, I had a little bit of a tumble. Pretty big crash, to be honest. Thankfully, I'm uh, not too bad. My wrist's a little bit sore, and I think I need to get this cleaned a little bit. Thankfully, nothing uh, too broken, and the bike stayed in one piece on the top of the ledge. So we're good to go again tomorrow. Here are the overall results after two days of off-road racing. Manuel Lendigler has overtaken Jarvis for first. The Brit is nearly two and a half minutes back in second. Wade Young has his work cut out for him. Now over five minutes back in third. We'll bring you all the day three highlights from Red Bull Romaniacs tomorrow on Red Bull TV.